what you're going to need these are the things that you're going to need for this uh, um, for this tutorial so what you're going to need is African black soap I am going to use this Afri African black soap that I got from a Dutch uh, website where they import stuff from Ghana and uh, also from Suriname and uh, this one is uh, from Ghana so I'm going to use this one I thought I should try it out since most of you ask where I get my African black soap from and mostly I get it from Ghana but uh, you guys obviously cannot uh, order from Ghana I think so this is a very good alternative for my people who do live in the Netherlands so yeah this is I think a hundred gram and it's in this uh, net thin okay I will take it out in a bit so that you can see the next thing you are going to need is uh, water I choose to use uh, normal water I don't use hot water because uh, I don't know hot water and natural product does not really go together for me I feel like I'm taking all the good stuff out of uh, the product so I just use normal bottled water and the only thing the only oils that I add to my uh, my African black soap is uh, these oils is my essential uh, oils I use uh, lavender uh, essential oil tea tree, tea tree essential oil rosemary essential oil and peppermint essential oils I don't add any carrier oils because I find the black soap really moisturizing by itself so I don't add any extra moisture to it because otherwise I will have uh, moisture overload that's what I noticed so these are the essential oils that I'm going to use I always use this uh, I think it's some kind of cotton uh, material I don't know the name in English I'll put it somewhere on the screen and you need something to mix with and also you need a funnel so what you will need is a chalkboard where you are going to chop your African black soap off and you also need a bowl where you are going to mix it in so yeah let's go ahead and do it So this is quite difficult to get out. So I'm going to cut open this because it's a bit difficult to uh, difficult to open. So yeah, I'm going to use all this, and I think it's about a hundred uh, gram. What I'm going to do is chop it into little pieces. As you can see, it's really soft. You can also decide to uh, uh, grid it. I think people also do that to grid it. I put it in smaller pieces so that it will smelt quicker. It is well. It is well with my soul, with my soul. All in little pieces and I uh, put it in here. So this is how it looks like now, like this, and I go ahead and add this water in it. So I pour all this bottled water in it and this bottled water is 500 milliliter. So it's half a liter and this is how it should look like so you go ahead and stir it and this is where some people actually use warm water so that it uh, melts really quickly but I don't like that idea so I just uh, use normal uh, water and I just take my time and wait till it has uh, melted so yeah this is how uh, I do it 
and I go ahead and add my essential oils. I add uh, about one tablespoon of um, peppermint oil. I add about one tablespoon of all the oils, uh, by the way. One tablespoon is about a few uh, drops, like about 10 drops. Rosemary oil and lavender oil. And I go in with my tea tree essential oil. Your oils also, depending on what kind of oil you're using, they can act as a preservative. So, as you can see, the color is already getting darker. So yeah. So because I use cold water and it takes a bit longer to uh, dissolve, I made this batch yesterday so that I can go ahead and show you how I, uh, I uh, continue this process. I have two containers where I put it in. I have this uh, container and I have this container and it should be enough. I put mostly in here and if it's not enough then I put it in here. So I'm going to... So I have... I put this one aside and I have my bowl here and I have my seeds as well and I have uh, this uh, cloth in here so that uh, all the little particles uh, come out oh, okay. and then I go ahead this is what I made the box that I made yesterday so I go ahead and give it one last stare So I go ahead and sieve it like this. Just really careful so that everything pass through the cloth. As you can see, There are little particles uh, here, and that's what I'm trying to take out. They are in there, you can see there. ahead and put it in my bottles so yeah I'm going to put this away and yeah mm -hmm. 